It's car con carne. Let's eat in the car. It's car con carne. This is Carcon Carne, a Q101 podcast. So imagine this. After a night out, you pull into the driveway. The garage light comes on. You open the door to the mudroom. The light comes on. Walking into the house, the kitchen light comes on. Spotify comes alive with your favorite playlist. Maybe it's not loud enough. One button from your phone or tablet cranks it up. Your home is in sync with you. That's what easy automation means. Experience seamless control over it all. Get a quote by visiting easy-automation.net or give my guy Dan a call. This is his direct number. He will give you a no-strings-attached, hassle-free quote, 630-730-3728, easy-automation.net. So Carcon Carne is sponsored by Ravinia, Ravinia ravinia.org. And even though... Ravinia is a sponsor. They're also a guest on this episode. I would have talked to them anyway. So joining me for Carcon Carne, doing this one virtually, is Ravinia's senior artistic producer. He is Eric Soderstrom. And Eric, let's just start out of the gate talking about this season. I think it's a typically eclectic Ravinia season. Also, it, it never ceases to amaze me the star power that Ravinia lines up for this idyllic little paradise off of the Eden's Expressway in Highland Park. Yeah, you know, Ravinia, we're celebrating our 120th year this year. And the tradition here is so rich that um, it's really fun to do the programming um, each year. And, you know, to your point, we get to kind of wipe the slate clean at the end of every summer and start fresh with what we want to do the next year. And that makes it exciting and Uh, One of our goals is to have a little bit of something for everyone that reflects this Chicagoland community that we that we live in. Um, So, you know, there's classical music, there's blues, there's rock, there's hip hop, um, there's salsa um, and everything in between. And so it's our hope that um, anyone out there will find something of interest to come see at least once, if not more throughout the summer. So in the month of June, the the one that I've been zeroing in on, I, I'm not even sure how this happened, but it's amazing. It's that Violent Femmes album play of their very first album, backed by the Chicago Philharmonic, on paper that sounds insane. The Violent Femmes first album is this very stripped down, sparse, indie affair. The idea of hearing those songs with the Philharmonic kind of makes my brain hurt. It, it just sounds fascinating and cool. It's a really interesting and fun collaboration. I have seen the show. They've done a few of these orchestra shows already, um, but this is the the premiere for, for Chicagoland. And they've been very thoughtful in the way that they integrated their album, which we all know, right? And we know everyone had it growing up. Every, every single person, that was the only thing we all had in common was that first album by the Violent Femmes. Yeah. You know, um, and, and so They've, they've done a nice job of also writing the charts because we have a full orchestra here and you want to be able to take advantage of those musical talents too. And the Violent Femmes have done a great job of, of arranging their songs so that an orchestra can be featured, but not to, also, to take away from the songs themselves. And it creates this just really unique, only at Ravinia experience. And I'm guessing if you're out there on the lawn, you're also going to get that Ravinia blister in the sun too, right? <laughs> yeah. uh, on that night. <laughs> so you have nothing short of rock gods coming this summer. I mean, Robert Plant and Alison Krauss, Roger Daltrey, the Beach Boys, Elvis Costello with Daryl Hall. Actually, let's talk about Elvis Costello and Daryl Hall. Uh, that may that, that may be the coolest show you have planned this summer, and you've got a lot of cool things coming up. Yeah, those two are incredible artists in their own right. They could have been headliners on their own, right? Um, but they are touring together, um, and that's one of the things that makes Ravinia really unique is getting these co-bills, if you will, these packages of two awesome artists coming together in one night. 
And we've got another couple of handful of those, um, Clint Black and Lyle Lovett and, and TLC and Shaggy. And, um, I, I, you know, I think that's what really sets Ravinia apart is you can come out and hear two great artists in one evening. And, and Daryl Hall, of course, has a ton of hits. Elvis has a ton of hits. They've even collaborated together in the past on, on some music. I wasn't, uh, I wasn't aware of that until this booking happened. Um, so they're even familiar with each other, and and I'm hopeful that maybe they'll even play a song or two together. That would be um, kind of the cherry on top for the Ravinia night. So in, in the music business, in the live music business, timing is everything. The Beach Boys documentary just hit on Disney Plus a week or so ago as we're recording this. You've got the Beach Boys with John Stamos right around the July 4th weekend. I mean... Great timing for them as far as like that time of year. What a great time to see the Beach Boys, but great timing from a, like a zeitgeist popular culture perspective to have them at Ravinia. Yeah, you know, that's the hope is that when we're booking the Ravinia season, we can also um, have these other collaborations and other um, special events to build the build the momentum. And I mean, the Beach Boys, what Mike Love and Brian Wilson and the Wilson brothers, the music that they wrote is so timeless. Um, and this is a concert that everyone can come to. The grandparents can yeah. come with the parents and can come with the kids. And all six or eight or 12 of you can enjoy this music. It's so timeless. And yeah, it, it is uh, truly cross-generational. Yeah exactly and then then you add a little john stamos flair to it <laughs> and um and then i think that means all the moms are extra excited to be out uh if john stamos is going to be here and so um they've turned it into a, a bit of a ravinia tradition you know they'll come about every third year and um this show will sell out it'll sell out it's not there yet there still are tickets available for the beach boys but um, it will get there eventually just because of this uh, popularity in their in their music. Talking about shared artist bills and talking about timing with documentaries, I just finished the Stacks documentary on Max, which is really good. Uh, Mavis Staples coming to Ravinia along with Nora Jones. That's a great night. Yeah, Mavis, she's a, she's a Chicago legend. She's an American legend. Mm -hmm. um, all of the music that she wrote with her father and her sisters and her gospel background on the south side of Chicago, it's really inspirational. And, uh, you know, speaking of documentaries, she was featured in Questlove's documentary about the Harlem Festival back in the late 60s. She was on that festival um, with her family performing. And then here she is. She's turning 85 years old at Ravinia at that concert this summer, 85. And she's still... Um, passionate and energized and and loving it and what a cool bill to be with Nora Jones who also has a new album out um, an album which she um, performed most of the instruments on that album I was reading the liner notes and so you know um, Nora is really flexing some of her musical talents these days and to have the two of them together is another show that's probably yeah. going to sell out. It's on its way. There are some tickets still available, but this is just going to be another Ravinia highlight uh, of this summer. And I love the fact that you read the liner notes. I mean, we're, we're kindred spirits in that regard. So many good shows, and we could go night by night. I mean, there's a lot to pour through at Ravinia.org. One thing that cannot be overlooked when talking about Ravinia is just it's an experiential night. We've all gone to live music venues. We've all seen outdoor shows. Ravinia is different because if you go there during the light of day, it's just a lovely park. At night, it feels like the biggest, most expansive land in, in all of the north suburbs. Like there's something magical happens when the lights go down there. It's all about the experience. And that is something that we have been keenly um, tied into for many, many decades at Ravinia is how do we create an experience that is like no other? Um, and it starts with the train, you know, the train, the Metro services, um, our front door, you can take the train from anywhere on that North shore line and it'll drop you off at Ravinia's front door. And, and, um, we have a great collaboration with the Metro where your Ravinia ticket is a free round trip Metro ticket. Um, and you get dropped off, 
you roll in to the lawn, the lawn is Ravinia. That is our brand mm -hmm. 100%. Um, you bring whatever you want in your picnic basket, your food, your beverage, your chairs, your blanket, um, and you sit back under the stars and listen to your favorite artist um, coming through the speakers. And it's a uh, it's a very, very unique experience. Uh, you know, if you don't want to bring your picnic, we have restaurants on site here, too. So yep. you can come and, and do some grab and go or, or do a reservation and do some fine dining. Um, we try to make sure that we have covered every single piece of the experience for you in whatever way you want to do it. How do you, Ravinia? We're here to help you do that. Um, but, you know, I've been here on some nights where... A little bit of fog will roll in off of the lake. We're only a half a mile from Lake Michigan. Um, and it creates this ambiance, like you were saying, where you feel like you're a part of something very special and something bigger than yourself. Um, and so here is this outdoor park with um, the Chicago Symphony or Nora Jones performing. And you're sitting back with your favorite food and beverage and friends and taking it all in. And I think that's what really sets us apart from a lot of other venues. I do love the food options at Ravinia. I, I learned at, a, at an early age as a Ravinia goer, I can't compete with some of the spreads people bring. I just can't. So I, I rely on Ravinia to do the food for me. Like there's like almost like a competitive picnicking uh, vibe with <laughs> some of the concert goers. I'm like, you know, I'm just going to leave it to the pros. I'll worry about yeah. it when I get there. Yeah, there is some competition. And we even have one night in the summer where we have a lawn uh, party competition. So we allow everybody to bring in their stuff and set it up. And then we'll go around and, and uh, judge them. And, and there's a winner. Um, that's how far it's gone. It's fun. It's a lot of fun. And, you know, the fact that people take it so seriously um, is just a really great tradition. And um, it also adds to that uniqueness. Like you said, when the sun goes down, you see people's table cal uh, candles um, or some of their artwork that they've brought or their tablecloths or whatever, and it just adds to the ambiance. For sure. So we're talking about over 100 concerts through September. You do turn profits over to back to the community at Ravinia. Yeah, we are a not-for-profit, um, and so our mission is um, to present these hundred nights of music every summer. Um, but also we have a strong commitment to music education and a portion of every ticket that is sold, the proceeds go towards our music education programs. We're in many different schools around Chicagoland, whether it's in Lawndale or Waukegan. Um, and we are providing music education where it um, doesn't exist. And so there are some full orchestras that have been created at these schools because of Ravinia. Instruments provided um, totally free for these students. Um, and there some, are some adult programs in certain communities, too, where if an adult wants to learn how to play the trumpet or the piano, um, we have free lessons for them, too. Um, and it's one of the most heartwarming things we do at, at Ravinia. We believe in the power of music and how that can shape people's lives. And um, we want to start early with students in exposing them to music. And this is one of the best ways to do it is through music education. Well, again, I, I love this summer lineup. I always do. I mean, uh, Trombone Shorty, I think that's going to be a sleeper favorite. This summer that that's a summer show that's something you want to see outside with your favorite beverage in hand absolutely this guy is high energy he brings that new orleans sound with him um he's got big boy on the bill so we're going to get a little bit of rap and hip-hop and maybe some outcast songs in there and also danielle ponder who really came on the scene strong last year with her debut album newport jazz festival rave reviews um so i encourage you to come out for the entire evening it starts yeah. at like six or six thirty. the music um because all three acts are really uh special well you, you know i love what you do out there and i can't wait to see so many of these shows i'll see you, you out there uh before i cut you loose anything else we should know about ravinia 2024 you know we touched on a lot of the uh the rock the blues the the hip-hop the jazz um, I, I have two, one along the jazz lines, which is Father's Day. Um, this is another New Orleans 
uh, themed program with two big bands um, on stage at the same time doing a classic uh, battle of the big bands. And so they'll be going back and forth, riffing off of each other um, with some new arrangements that have been written all in the motif of New Orleans big bands. Love and it. so this is a, a really cool program and I encourage people to come out. What a great way to celebrate dad, buy him a couple of tickets. Um, and then the other is the Chicago Symphony. Um, they're here for several weeks. They are one of the best orchestras in the world. And to have them here in Chicago is a real honor and a real treat. And we work hard to create programs that are a lot of everything, a lot of variety within the Chicago Symphony series. And so um, if you haven't listened to the CSO, I encourage you to come out. It's also a fun way to just be on the lawn. It's relaxed. This is not a, a formal thing. Um, you can continue to do your lawn party experience if you want, um, but uh, you get to hear one of the best orchestras in the world. And so um, that's another favorite top, uh, part of the Ravinia season is their residency. For sure. Eric, thank you for your time. And we'll see you all summer long on the lawn, in the pavilion, in the restaurant, wherever. Absolutely. Thanks for having me on.